We in the building. We in the building. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Sunday. This Sunday, the day of the sun. Z, what's happening, bruh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We live. We live. Flourishing goals, true game, entertainment. Candace for joy, natural Adrena. Young Mildo, Ayo the Great. What up, what up, what up? Yeah. Yeah. I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to do me a favor. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. Ayo the Great, turn on your uh, notifications. I need y'all to do me a favor, man. I need y'all to do me a major favor. Every time you hear somebody talk that new year, new me shit today, ask them. Ask them. And if you've been talking it, if you've been talking that new year, new me shit, I want you to ask yourself, what profound change have you been through in the last 24 hours that makes you think something's going to be different than last year? What profound shit did you experience in the last 24 hours that makes you think this year is going to be any different from last year. New year, new me. Tell me what profound shit has happened in the last 12 hours that makes you think this year is going to be better than last year. New year, new me. That's what they love to say. What has happened in that 12 hours that makes you think 2023 is going to be any di any different than 2022 please let me know that's what you need to be asking people who say that shit what happened what profound change happened when you decide when you decide that personal transformation whether it's your diet, whether it's your, you know, relationship choices, whether it's your work ethic, when you decide personal transformation is for you, it doesn't have to wait for the next year. It doesn't have to wait for the next day. It doesn't have to wait for an hour. When you decide that it needs to be a new you, you need to take action right away. <clears throat> new year, new me. That's dead, man. Because nothing has happened in the past 24 hours that was so profound that you're going to make any dramatic changes in your life. Nothing. So let's get that bullshit on out the way. New year, new you. How do you get to the place where you can be a new person? What does it take? Have you taken any inventory of who you currently present yourself to the world as? You have to have the courage to take inventory. Take inventory of who you present yourself to the world as. Because you can't be a new person without being fully aware of your behavior now. Are you ready to look back through last year and see all the people you hurt? The people you broke your word to? Don't talk about new year, new me. Because in order to have that transformation, you have to have a motherfucking accountability session. You got to have that accountability session with yourself, man. And a lot of people don't want to do that. Don't say new year, new me if you ain't did a self-check of all the fuckery you, you, you put, put out and bullshit you laid down and slick shit you did and whole shit you did. If you ain't taking no self-inventory today about all the fuckery from 2022... 
Don't talk about new year, new me. Don't even make plans for transformation if you don't have the courage to look at all the ugliness that you responsible for from last year. How much negativity did you post? How much negativity did you post in your timeline? How much fear and propaganda did you speak? Did you spill out on your timeline? How much negativity did you put into the minds of other people? How many negative thoughts? Because thoughts are energy. Thoughts influence energy. How many negative thoughts did you have about other people? Thank you for the badge, Daz Capricorn. How many negative thoughts did you have about other people last year? How much toxic shit did you spread on your timeline? New year, new me. Number one, you got to hold yourself accountable by at least acknowledging all the fuck shit you did last year. And not just acknowledging the fuck shit. But really getting down to the reason, to the reasons behind your behaviors. Thank you for the badge, Lulu and uh, naturally Audrina. You have to get down to the root of your behavior. New year, new you. You are have to, you have to take inventory of the shit you were doing last year. Thank you, as honey, for the badge. You have to take inventory of your bullshit. And a lot of people don't want to go through these accountability moments that allow you to really have personal transformation. Thank you for the badge, uh, K. Dot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. But you have to take accountability. So if you want a new you this year, take that fuck shit inventory, all the negativity you did last year, and and don't forget, don't forget the negative shit you done to yourself. Sisters especially. Don't forget how many times you, you allowed. Allowed yourself to devalue yourself. So you could be, feel appreciated by a motherfucker who don't even appreciate their mammy. You got to take responsibility. You have to acknowledge these things. Thank you for the badge, Leandra. You have to acknowledge these things. I want you to heal, man. I want you to benefit. I want you to benefit from personal transformation. But you got to be willing to be accountable. You got to do that. I can't do it for you. You can purchase all the cleanses you want, all the spells you want. And that's why I made the prices for cleanses so high. Because people would just keep doing the same shit, the same shit. I, I'm doing cleanses for the same people who are doing the same shit. I'm not helping you, I'm enabling you. So now, if you want a spiritual cleanse, if you're not getting a reading, an astrology reading, you know, something that's going to help you in transformation. You get a cleanse for free with that stuff. You just want to cleanse because you want to keep doing the same shit. You're going to pay 10000 Simple as that. Simple as that. But back on topic, your accountability. Take accountability for the people you hurt, including yourself. You want to start out this new year and really mean new year, new me? Take accountability. Take accountability for the people you hurt, intentionally and unintentionally. Again, look at all the negativity you spread through your timeline. Take accountability for that. Take accountability for the people you let in your life that continue to hurt you and take advantage of you. I don't care if it's your mom, your baby daddy. Take accountability for the people who you allow to remain in your life Abuse your trust. Physically abuse you. Disappoint you. I need you to take inventory, man. 
Because without taking inventory, you can't be aware of the problems. Thank you, Wizard CJ, for grabbing the badge, brother. You can't take inventory without identifying the problems. How many situations were you in this year, in 2022, that you allowed yourself to get hurt from? How many times in 2022 did you give time, invest time into being around people who you hoped would love you like you love them? Young Socrates, thanks for the badge, bro. How many times in 2022 did you invest your time and energy, your thoughts, into hoping somebody would love you like you love them? And you refused to, to acknowledge that that wasn't what, what it was. New year, new me. You have to change behavior. And that starts with that accountability process. Personal accountability. Personal accountability. We create our own suffering. We create our own suffering. And I'm telling you from, from the place of a guilty party. I'm telling you from, from the place of a guilty party. From the place of a guilty party, man. We, we include myself. That's why I say we. We put ourselves in a position... To be hurt by seeking love and to be valued by people who don't value us instead of cherishing the people who value, love, nurture, and support us. I was guilty of that, man. I was guilty of that. And you, you, you have to be willing to be responsible for that. You have to be responsible for that. Because we cause ourselves a lot of hurt, pain, and suffering. By looking from love. From people. Who we expect to love us. Instead of embracing the love from the people who do love us. We can't even acknowledge the people who really love us. Because we're busy hurting about the people who we expected to love us, not loving us. We create our own suffering. Create our own suffering. And until you can be accountable, until you can be accountable to yourself for that and value yourself enough to not be willing to interact with people that, that you know are going to disappoint you. That's torture. That's torture. That's like self-mutilation. If you're not, if you got the sense enough to not sit and cut yourself with a razor or burn yourself with cigarettes when, when you upset, why would you keep putting yourself in a position to be disappointed by people because you want them to love you like you love them. You keep going to these same people to get that disappointment. That's like self self abuse. Because despite who you want somebody to be, they can only be who they are. And if you if you decide that you're not going to Accept them for who they are. Then you've decided that, that you're willing to, to put yourself in a position to be abused. And you know they're not going to change. But you don't want to feel like you failed or that you made a bad choice. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. I'm a guilty party in that. I'm a guilty party in that. 
My, my wife would tell y'all, man. My wife would tell y'all I stress myself out real bad, man. About the fate of my people. Stress myself out real bad. Because I wanted everybody to hear. You can't worry about everybody. You got to hear. You got you to gotta speak to those who are willing to listen. Speak to those who want to listen. Who want different. Everybody ain't meant to make it. Everybody can't make it. You get on the bus with a bus full of people. Not everybody going to get off at the same stop as you. And if you having a conversation with somebody on the bus. And you get off at their stop. Just to continue a conversation. You got the game fucked up. You got the game fucked up. You can't get distracted from your destination. You going to meet people along the journey. But you ain't supposed to get off till, till it's your time to get off your stop. And that's where a lot of us get caught up. Getting off at other people's stop. Or going back. Going back to try to grab somebody. That, that we want to make it with us. Who we want to thrive. Don't work like that. Don't work like that. Because people. Are going to live based on their perspective. Of themselves. Their reality. And it's not even their reality. It's the reality that they've accepted. That they've accepted. And you don't you don't have the power to change what they've accepted for themselves. It's a waste of your energy. New year, new you. Stay the fuck out of people's business. If they ain't going to the same destination as you. Don't get off that bus. Don't get off that bus in 2023. Because in 2024, I promise you, it's going to be way more, way more pressure than you're seeing right now. That's why I don't do the, the, the United States astrology reads. I told y'all what the fuck was finna go down. You see what the fuck's going down. You see what the fuck's happening to this economy, right? It's redundant. It's redundant. I'm telling you since COVID hit what the fuck was going on. Before COVID hit. 2016. 2016 when that uh Mars. Not Mars but Saturn and Pluto. Went conjunct in Capricorn. Told y'all what was going to happen. Shortly after that. The Cathedral of Notre Dame. One of the biggest monuments in Catholicism. Caught on fire. It's a sign. Signs come to you all the time. But you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention. The new you has to be willing to pay attention. To the signs from the universe. And the signs from the people that are around you. Everybody love magic. As above, so below. Listen, if it's as above, so below. Then you are the sun. You are the sun and everybody in your life are planets that rotate according to your magnetism. So if they're rotating in your life according to your magnetism and you're always coming on the short end of the stick, the problem ain't the world, it's you, baby. The problem ain't the world, it's you. It's your magnetism because you can only attract the things that you focus on. And the things that you focus on... Whether it's energy, the thought process, or lifestyle that you focus on, it's what the universe is gonna give you every time. Every time. It doesn't matter if it's Dominic focusing on it, it doesn't matter if it's Monica Bay focusing on it, or you focusing on it. The universe gives you what you focus on. Every time. New year, new me. 
Write down on your list how you're going to change your thought process. How are you going to change your thought process? When you say you want to do something nice for yourself, you say you got a goal, a vision, and a dream. What's your but statement after that? What excuse do you make for you not being able to have that? Unless it's a but they married, I don't want to hear that shit. A but they married or a but they dead. You gotta make you gotta make good on on the things that you want. How much money do you want for twenty twenty three? And don't say a million, cause a million is average. Y'all know I got other businesses. A million is average, so don't say a million. It's trillions of dollars. <laughs> trillions of dollars. And money being exchanged every day. Ain't nobody going to notice if you make a million. Nobody. Nobody going to notice. New year, new me. Accountability. Goal oriented. Identifying where you want to be. You wonder why your life going in circles? Cause you can't you you can't get beyond I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna be here. Maria, thank you for grabbing the bag, sis. You stuck on I don't wanna be here in this moment, whether it's dealing with your baby mama, your baby daddy, dealing with the courts. You don't wanna be here. Is all you can focus on. So you just keep running around in a circle. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Today is the day you need to get clear on your destination. Get clear on your destination. Do it right now. Do it right now. Where do you want to be in life on December 31st? 2023. Write it down. Write it down. And if you wrote it down already on some paper, not in your fucking phone, on some paper. You wrote it down. Let me know in the fucking comments. Where do you want to be? And I don't want to see no me in no three seconds. Matter of fact, DM me when, when you when you got it done. Send Send me a DM. If you take the time to write it down, Send me a picture of it in the DM and, and I'm going to help you get there. Simple as that. You don't got to get off the live, but by the end of the day, DM it to me and I'm going to help you get there. Check it. So now that we got that out the way to self inventory, where you want to be? Where you want to be in 2023? At the end of 2023, where you want to be? This means a personal goal, a financial goal, a business goal, and an emotional goal. Where do you want to be? Where do you want your growth to be? Don't don't tell me, oh, I want to have three million dollars at the end of twenty twenty three, but don't have no vehicle for three million dollars to come to you. I taught you guys magic first for a reason. Taught you magic first for a reason before I start teaching you business and letting you know that I do marketing and build websites and all that shit. I taught you magic for a reason. First. So once you know how to use your abilities and draw abundance and magnetize your products. Then you create your business. And use your magic for your spells and magic and spells. So your business is boom. So your business is boom. But you might be doing spells for prosperity and shit and not getting no clients because your energy, your personal vibration, repels what you're trying to attract. If thoughts influence energy, 
you need to take inventory of your energy, inventory of your behavior, how, how you hurt other people, directly or indirectly, how you allow people to hurt you, how many people in situations you keep in your life that aren't adding to nothing but the headache and the heartache. You got to be willing to take inventory. You can't change nothing if you if you unwilling to assess the problem. Get your inventory down and then figure out where you want to be. Where you want to be next year. And then I need you to come back and do another inventory check. What all did I accomplish? What all did I accomplish in 2022? Because life gets so hectic, you forget to keep track of your wins and you think you ain't you ain't doing nothing. So then your self-esteem go down. It's, it hit the slippery slide down the slope. Oh, my life sucks. I ain't getting nothing done. Take inventory of your wins. Take inventory of your wins. And my spirits is telling me it's a sister on here. It's a sister in particular on here that do that shit. So you better, you know who you are. Start taking inventory of your motherfucking wins. I ain't going to front the sack. You, you know who you are. Start taking inventory of your wins. Stop acting like you don't. You don't get shit done and, and and you you haven't accomplished nothing and everybody's so far ahead of you. You know, you take inventory of your fucking wins and you'll see how far you got ahead and get off your fucking pity pot. We don't do that around here. We don't do the fucking pity pot. If you're on my page and you, you still on your fucking pity pot, don't come back. Don't come back. I don't want that type of energy around here. 2023, when I say new year, new me, I'm bring no, don't, like the wicked witch on the whiz, don't bring me no bad news. Like the wicked witch on the whiz, don't bring me no bad news. 2023, don't bring no negativity to me. I'll take it as a magical attack. <laughs> I'm going to take it as a magical attack. You bring some negativity to me in 2023. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up, don't bring me no bad news in 2023. If you do, I'm going to take it as a magical attack. I'm protecting my energy. Bring me no negativity. He got to be like that, man. He got to be like that. got to be like that. Don't bring me no bad news in 2023. Keep your negativity to yourself. In 2023, don't bring me no bad news. I don't give a fuck what's going on. <clears throat> Nowhere. Nowhere. I don't care who the police killed. None of that shit. Don't bring me no bad news. Don't bring me no bad news. I've been pushing power. I've been pushing power to y'all. Power. Straight power. Don't, don't come to me with no powerless shit. Don't come to me with no powerless shit. All y'all on here should be following each other. All y'all on here should be following each other. Because all y'all interested in magic. <coughs> so, you know, I don't I don't see why. I don't see why y'all ain't, you know, outside of the people that are in, in, in the classes together. Y'all ain't getting with each other that follow the page and saying, hey, let's do some spells to improve this in the community. New year, new me. If you're going to be new you, you have to take new action. And new action means being willing to speak up and bring others together to take action. Y'all see what's going on with these sex traffickers from group spells. If I can call for a group spell and you got people in your circle, you should have people in your circle that's interested in the same things as you. Y'all should be doing spells for prosperity together and not just empty. OK, prosperity spell today. I mean, really getting together. Like the thing I did on uh, the, the day of the dead for the ancestors, really getting together. And going through a ritual process, not a just thrown together, but getting together 
and having a ritual process with a group of people focused on the same thing. Focused on the same thing and doing the same thing no matter where they're at in the world. At the same time. If you got five people, the one person should have all the five people right there. Something representing them on their altar and y'all all doing the spells together. You did what I'm saying? Y'all have to take the initiative to do that. Don't wait for me to say we're going to do a group spell. Don't wait for me to say we're gonna, we, we need to do a group spell for this. No, I, I understand, you know, that y'all look to me to lead. And I, I, I'm, I'm really starting to understand how, how important I am to a lot of y'all. You know, I overlook it because I'm just being me. There are people, people who know, no, I'm just, this is how I am all the fucking time. You know, so I don't count those wins, really. I don't, I don't count them wins. So I'm kind of preaching, preaching to myself right now, too, shit. But I don't count those, those wins and those acknowledgements because I'm, I'm just being myself. So it doesn't seem like a big thing to me. And I apologize if, if I ever made you feel like, you know, your admiration or, or, you know, the the value the weight of my words have to you if i uh, if i underestimated that I, I apologize man um but yeah man you gotta you gotta be willing to take initiative new you you have to be willing to pull the trigger when when you said maybe i'll wait for somebody else to do it or maybe i'll wait for somebody else to ask the question be willing to pull the trigger take initiative these this is another thing that's going to help you be a new you, if that's what you're really seeking. Accountability. For your behavior, the people you hurt directly and indirectly, intentionally and unintentionally. Accountability. For the people you allow to hurt you. Looking for love and validation from people. Expecting them to love you like you love them. That create a lot of suffering for us. You got to be accountable. You got to take inventory of that. And lead that behavior at yesterday. Lead that behavior at yesterday. Then you got to figure out where you want to go. <clears throat> 2023 starts today. It ends on December 31st. Where do you want to be and who do you want to be? At the end of 2023. Because if you don't have a destination, you're going to keep going in that circle, going in that circle. So get your destination down. Where do you want to be? Who do you want to be? How do you want to be seen by the world? December 31st of 2023. Who do you want to be? How do you want to be seen by the world? What do you want to have accomplished? Understand your destination at the beginning of the year so you can be there at the end of the year. Because if you don't understand your destination, you can't even make plans. You can't even make plans if you don't understand your destination, Jack. New year, new me. If you apply the things that I talked about today and really take inventory, you'll have that new you that you want. I said it before, I said it again. Have your thing, your information tight and right in my DM. Written on paper and a picture of it. If it ain't tight and right, don't expect no help. New year, new me. No time for the bullshit. Come correct with me or don't come at all. My students that's here, I will see y'all tonight. I got some special stuff for y'all, man. Uh, 
we gonna we gonna have a good night tonight, man. We gonna we gonna send y'all send y'all into to 2023 right. Everything on divine time, and I love y'all, man. I'm about to jump on full time pressure after I get some something to eat right quick. Jump on full time pressure and get y'all a bunch of business sauce. It's going down today. New year, new you. I'm gonna help you get there. Peace.